Schon? Oh, yes! Oh, ich kann nicht Could I be the first person to catch a snapper trawling around Port Arlington and Dented Heads? You get the gist. Can it be done? Put the two lines in and we're trawling beautifully. Today's a bit better. Have a look at that. We've got one rod out there. Trawling there. And we've got the other one there. So this one here will drop about, say, two meters. This one will drop about three meters in the water. You want to leave your drag relatively loose, but not too loose, right? So when the snapper or fish takes it, it can just run and you can hear it. Then you can slowly tighten the drag. But they're working really well. What is it? Look at that. It's a little... I made a couple of phone calls on the boat because I wanted to find some more information out about this pike. Now, I actually found out that pike is really good bait for gummy shark. Now, what people normally do is they fill it the pike and then they got that long silver strip and they put that on the hook and the gummy sharks go absolutely crazy for it because the flesh is nice and bloody. So what I'm going to do is next time I'm going to go for sharks, I'm going to trawl, catch some more pike, keep them for bait and they're going to be absolutely amazing. Now, guys, please put in the comment section, have you ever tried to eat pike? Is it any good to eat? I'm just trawling up this Port Arlington wall because you never know we'll be un what's under here coming through to Clifton Springs. There might be a massive monster snapper just about to go eat all the shit off the rocks and that. So, never know. Never know. Never know. But the time is 3.30. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've got another five hours of trawling. We have to get one in five hours. Can this be the video, the first video on YouTube? <sighs> I can't even say it. The first video on YouTube that catches a monster snapper while trawling in Port Arlington slash indented head slash St. Lennon's. I just had a run before on this on this Rapala, the one that's diving about four meters. When I say run, it could be a little bit of weed. It could hit the bottom. So we don't know. Bring it up, no weed on there. I'm going to trawl past this reef. I know there's a nice reef here. <laughs> Not big. What is it? Ah, oh, dropped him. Still no luck at the moment. A lot of grass and weed in the water that's getting stuck in the lures. Just trawling around the mussel beds now. When it gets dark, start going in shallow water. So I'm roughly in around seven meters of water here, and I'll go down to about five to four. When that sun goes right down, I'll go in closer. That's generally the time that they're coming on at the moment, just before dark. I will get one. I will get one. I know I'll get one. Still not a hit yet. We're still trawling. Check out behind me. Look at that. It's like a grey and then really light green. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Good to be alive, huh? Nice glare and the sun's beautiful. Yeah, there's a little bit of pink as well. I'm just going to check the tide. It's almost empty now. Ladies and gentlemen, this time is the best right now to hook on to a monster snapper. I was going to say squid. Snapper. I got a phone call. Something has arrived in the mail. I'm so excited. I'm not going to say what it is. You guys just have to wait and see. No, any second it might happen. That seven kilo snapper might come along and just smash one of these lures. We're praying. We are praying. Well, I'm praying anyway. So. Oh, it feels good just to stand up and have my back straight. Oh man, my kneecaps come. My kneecaps come up to my skin, my chin. A couple of boats of. Oh, just had a hit. What was at the bottom? Another pike. I think I dropped him. This is a nice one. Another pike. That afternoon, yeah, I didn't do too well. I got a couple of pike, no pinkies, no snapper. I was a bit quiet, but I knew, I know a few boats that did really well that afternoon. And I'm going to show you a couple of photos later on in the video. <laughs> this morning I went out fishing. I'm going to roll that footage on for you right now. So go have a look at that. I'm just about to hook up the boat. Well, I hooked up the boat, right? And then I found this. <laughs> 
still very sturdy because that's holding it. Looks like I have to do repairs and I only really need to do one kilometer, literally tomorrow before I have to obviously get this welded up. Ow. Must be a pinky or something. That's a good sign. Very, very good sign. 20, uh, 25. Didn't do well that morning, so I went down to BCF because I'm trying to find this lure that I know it's proven to get Monster Snapper on. Ah, oh, BCF didn't have it. Now, we've got the Esky here today. I've got something in here, but I'm going to show you what's in here a bit later on. Put the can in there for later. And that nice little spot, but I might put the car literally in here because this is like a little... This is a nice little area here. Just check out that view we got. And the wind blowing this way, so I might put the car here. I don't even know where Rocco is at the moment. Aria, wanna go in the water? Rock, Rock! Hey, what are you doing? Rock! I was up and about, ready to go out. But then I thought, man, what's the point? Wow, I'm in the bottle. Go, 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 go! Come on, Aria! You shouldn't laugh at Rocco, Aria. Just... So you guys were wondering what's in the bag. Have a look how thick the squid paint the, the squid is. Now this was this squid that I caught at Queen's Cliff and I got it on video. If you don't know which one it is, I'm gonna roll that footage on now so you can have a look. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. What's at the bottom? I don't know. What's at the bottom? What the hell? Oh my god. This is a monster. This is a monster. Where's this net? Oh, yes, this is the one we want. Oh my god. Look at the size of it. Oh my god, come on. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Oh my god, look at that. No, what's happened? Oh, it's stuck. Yeah. Stop the video right there. That was actually the wrong way to net a squid. You want to put your net behind the squid because what's going to happen? It's going to swim right into your net. Okay, let's keep playing the video. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I can't even fit in the net. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, the big boat! Oh my god! Look at that! Guys, look at Rocco! Rocco! I cut it in three pieces. This is only a quarter. Look how big it is. I'll unwrap it so you can see. It's so thick. Look, beautiful. We've got the wings. That's the wings on there. Look at the size of that. That's massive. Come on. Oh shit, don't fall. Now, because this is a bit dirty, I've got to take the skin off it and I'm going to do it in the water. But this is a bit dirty here. So I'm going to walk out past all this and hopefully we can defrost this just a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm out of squid now. I've got like two squid left, so I might have to go out again and get some more. Papa, are you coming for the fish? Are you coming to eat the fish? Are you coming to eat the fish? Rock, you would literally do anything for food. You would even like sort of drown just to get a pace. Where are you going? Where are you going, Rock? Rock? Where are you going? I clean all the squid after I go for a fish, so what I do is when I catch all my squid, I put the squid in the hessian bag at the back of the boat and when I drive home, the squid normally clean by itself and sometimes it's just a little excess skin on the squid so I just take that off before I cook it. There's another wing here. Rock, leave her alone. How are you going to marinate it? Yeah, do you put it all in? We might need the whole thing. Yeah, I did. Oh. Wow! Oh. How are you, Spoon? Okay, there we go. Start her up. That's okay, why? 
And then you gotta turn it. Where? No, that's it. No, and there's something that pulls it in, Bob. No, that's it there. There you go. Yep, we're on. Yeah, we need that board past this. Where are you going? Oh, you want your eye. Yeah. Ooh, that's hot now. Need to chop this up. Chop what up? It's leaning. The oil is leaning to that's one fine. side. That's fine. What I'll get is this. Rock, are you hungry? Get that! <laughs> Protecting puppy. Oh, it is burning. Okay. You reckon? Yeah. Flames actually off. It's hot. How is that? <laughs> is it good? Mm. Is it or was it burnt? It's a little bit burnt. It's a little bit burnt, but yeah, it's a bit too cooked quickly. I've actually burnt everything. Everything. Come have a look. Luke, you're the butcher. It'll be Stop. nice. It'll still be good. Take them off. It'll still be good. What are you eating? Oh, oh my god. Let's they swap. Yep, for you. Let's swap. <laughs> and okay. Oh my god, her nails. <laughs> Look at her nails. Poopy, you're growing up. <laughs> Aria, come here. Oh, I didn't even see you there, puppy. This is like the best bit. Yeah. Ouch, it's hot. Beautiful. Booga. <laughs> Rock here. This is for you. Rock! Rock! Hey! No, this is your one, Rock. Rock here. Get out of it! Don't you do! On your spot. Come here. On your spot. Sit. Slowly, slowly. Oh, what? <laughs> Want people to know that I eat carbs on top of carbs. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the start of my video, man. Destroy the wrap. Oh, how is it? Did you get any squid in mm. that bite? Is it nice? Absolutely beautiful. Yes. So this is the photo I was telling you guys about. Have a look at that beautiful snapper. Beautiful. Look at how the photo was taken. Nice color. Looked like it was caught in the afternoon, late afternoon. And I know that was out of Port Arlington. So very nice snapper. Now, I'm going to be putting up a photo once a week of someone that sends me a photo of them catching a nice size fish or any size fish. So guys, please go to my Instagram. Um, send me an inbox there with, the, with your fish. How big was it? Now, I think that fish was about five kilo, just over five kilo. Yeah, so send me your photos and I'll post one up every week. I'll pick one, one, one photo that I really like and I'll post that in my videos, all right, guys? Now, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I don't know where the button is. I'll just wait here till you do it. let it goes all right. Did you subscribe? Beautiful, guys, let's get back to it. Oh my God. <laughs> I've got a feeling that right, I cannot explain You were something different How's that? But I don't want to change uh -huh. Slowly yeah. but surely I just slept in But it's still dark outside which is good Just getting daylight now the birds are going off. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go on the water. Been trawling for about 40 minutes now. No luck. The water's really dirty, which is good. And this morning, this has already happened. 
now. That means I've done 300 hours with this motor, so it needs a service. Already? 300 hours. It's pretty quick. 300 hours? <laughs> Hours? It's a lot of work when there's so much grass in the water. I don't know if you can see all the grass just everywhere at the minute. But it's just so much work because you just got to cut like that's on grass again now. You just got to keep on changing it. But we'll get them. Yes. Come on. I don't. Please be a snapper. Please be a snapper. I think it's a snapper. It's a nice one on this Rapala here. Ooh. Oh man, that was such a good feeling. Feels like a snapper. Sorry guys, it's not a GoPro. It has just like shit itself. Hopefully it's a nice snapper. What is it? Oh, yes, it is! Yes! 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 Oh, oh yes! Yes! He accidentally smashed that hook. Oh! See what he weighs. He weighs. I know, I know, I made a mistake. I didn't mean to say weight. I meant to say size, measurement, not weight. I'm, I apologize. 40 centimeters, 40 centimeters. We're gonna let him go. Come on, I know what you're thinking. Why did you throw that back? Oh, oh. He smashed this lure. I'm screwing that this GoPro wasn't working for some reason. Oh, little one. He's been hit by something there. He's absolutely annihilated that. Hook out. All right, let's release you. Look how much he's been hurt there. Something that's been attacking him. Hey, there he goes. When I get my sounder, this is what I'm gonna do. When I'm soundering around, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna trawl for snapper while I'm soundering. And you know what? We might get that screamer that comes along and screams, you know? <laughs> the sounder has been ordered as you've seen, so it's on its way here. I just don't know when it's gonna get here. But I've got so much plans to do. Like I'll be sanding around for hours. I'll be trawling while I'm sandering. I'm not gonna. Not, I'm not gonna not have a line in the water while you're sandering. That's just my. In my opinion, I think it's the right thing to do. So if you're sanding around, throw rapalas out. Trawl because you might get that. They don't want to take baits. They want to smash something that's moved. That's you know active and gone. Obviously it works. You've just seen now. Just landed a 40 centimeter pink here or snapper whatever you want to call it and I landed another one so that does work and I know for a fact if I keep doing this I will get that 7.5 kilo banger in the boat Rocco's freezing and I don't blaming like look at this weather I can't even see around me it's that foggy but you know what that's good for the when we're fishing in the shallows you're that cold bro it makes me feel bad I want to take him home oh Yes. Gotta change Rapalas. This is a nice one too. It's a finky, I know it is. I gotta change that other Rapala. It's on fire. Oh, it's only small, but we'll take it. Colors and they're just amazing. Look where he's hooked. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being in my video. I really appreciate you. Say hello to everybody. We're on. Oh, turn this off. Oh. Don't off a bit. Every five minutes we're getting it. We just need a bigger one to come along. I'm getting bigger. What's this got in the measure? Let me just untangle. I think I'm going to change that lure. It's not doing any good. I'm going to put the same 
sort of lower on. <laughs> so it's a little bit small. 20, 29, 28 centimeters. 29, so it is a legal one, but we're not going to keep them. Go on, mate. Oh. I'm going to show you guys how I actually release these Rapalas, right? So I sit him in the water like that, and I always make sure that the handle in the reel is up, right? This handle in the reel is up. Obviously, I start the motor. Then I put it just in gear, right? And all I do is open this bale. That one open, and open this bale here. And it will release, just like that. And I make sure that that's straight, and they release out. Perfect. I like to let a lot of the line go because I don't want the sound of the motor to scare them. Don't, it's not that loud, but I just let line out so they forget about the motor once it passes and they see it, they lure, and then they just smash the lure. So I like to let a bit of line out, all right? Obviously, if you're fishing near reefs and that, just take it, the corners don't cut it off. It's like a trailer, right? You're, you're towing, with, you're trawling with the trailer. Then I just lock it over, lock that over, and that's it. And let them dive. You just want to keep an eye on them all the time because if there's a lot of if there's a lot of weed in the water, it will get caught on the weed and you could just tell. Like, see how it's kicking nice and gentle there? That's perfect. Which is the exact reason why I'm buying a sounder and why you should have a sounder when you go out or a GPS. Because have a look at this. I cannot see 50 meters in front of me. I can see nothing at all. So I've got to get my phone out and use the GPS on that. Amazing. What is it? Look at the colors on that. Guys, if you know what this fish is, please let me know in the comment section. Got it. There he goes. Went out fishing, got home, and I come back to this special package that obviously come through. So I've ordered a couple of things online, um, and let's see what this is. So excited because I'm hoping it is what I think it is. Where do I open it from? Just do the side. Oh right here. All right, open it from Gentle. here. Gentle. Maybe this way. Oh my god, I wonder what it, hope it is, what it is. Well, I think it is. Check it out. Oh, oh. Oh. Here we go. 